everyone, this is Self Made Millennial. I'm Madeline Mann, and today we are talking about how college is for sure not your only option, and that trade school is an exceptional path that can also lead to a successful career. I am going to tell you why high schools do not want you to consider trade school. Mm why that is totally bogus, and I'll give you three reasons why changing your career path or starting your career by going to trade school could be an amazing option for you. And at the end, I will give you a bonus resource to help you sort out all of this to make sure you choose the right career path for you. I live here in Los Angeles, and the other day I met a plumber who said he offered to visit a local high school to tell them about what a career as a plumber is like. The Los Angeles Unified School District turned him away. Why? Because schools are judged on how many of their students go to college, not trade school. So they did not want to encourage their students to pursue skilled trades like plumbing, mechanics, you know, being an electrician, a web developer, a dental hygienist, all of these exceptional careers that are in demand. I am shook. Are you shook by this? I feel like a school is failing us. Trade school is such a fantastic option for a fruitful career. And now, granted, I did not go the trade school route. And to be honest, it never crossed my mind. I mean, I am the product of the public school system and my schooling did a fantastic job of downplaying those opportunities and up playing college. But I am here to give you three reasons why trade school could be a great option for you, either as a high schooler looking towards your career or someone looking to make a career switch. First reason is the jobs are in demand. Many of trade school careers are practically recession proof. The skills are so core and in demand that many of them will never be taken overseas. So the job security is fantastic. You can't outsource nursing, to another country, you can't outsource an elevator repairman, those people need to be here. The second reason is hands-on learning. If you don't do well in a lecture hall sitting there, uh, trade school actually has way more hands-on learning. So if you learn by doing, this change of pace could really help you to excel. I mean, it, it bothers me when people think they don't like learning because they don't absorb material through reading or listening. Traditional school mostly focuses on those types of learners when really many people's brilliance springs from that hands-on experience where they tangibly see the results of their lessons. If this sounds like you, Trade school might just be right up your alley. The third reason is more flexibility. The programs are often shorter, anywhere from a few months to two years. They allow you to have a more flexible schedule if you have to work while attending a program. And they will leave you in far less debt, generally speaking. I do feel a little weird talking about being cost effective about your career choice because if your true dream is to become a doctor, Yes, you are going to spend hella dollars in school getting there, but I think you would regret it forever if you didn't take that leap. However, what if you were equally interested in other rewarding careers that made good financial sense, or you have your eyes on careers where you could get a big fancy graduate degree, but you don't necessarily need it to get that career you want. I think it's reasonable to crunch the numbers and understand your options before enrolling in a college or graduate program. I personally have my bachelor's and master's degrees, and when people ask me if they should get their master's, I tell them all the great things that have come from it, but I also tell them how much mine cost. I am so glad I have it, it was the right for me, but that shiz ain't cheap. To be honest, I didn't really think about the financial burden when I enrolled. I should have. And yeah, I had a really big steaming pile of debt. So anyways, trade school. It could be a more flexible and financially forgiving path to take. All right, bup, 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 let's hold up here. I'm going to play devil's advocate quickly to caution you about some things about trade school, okay? College is a time for discovery. You take general education courses and get to know yourself and your interests. Trade school is not about self-discovery. There's no gen ed, okay? You should know what you want in your career 
uh, before you go into trade school. And this can lead to a big fat dead end and waste of time if you launch too quickly into a trade school program that is not right for you. Now, this I actually see as an opportunity because it will make you more committed to figuring out what is the right career for you instead of bopping around trade schools or going to a university for four years and changing your major three times. How do you find out which trade is the right one for you? Talk to people, right? Just get a list of every trade that can be done in your area, circle the ones that sound interesting to you, and then call people who do those jobs. I mean, you can do this by finding them on LinkedIn, or you can literally call where they work. You call the local mechanic and tell them you're interested in potentially becoming a mechanic and ask if you can come by and ask them a few questions about their career. You will be so surprised at how many people are willing to help you. Obviously not everyone, but many. And so this is called doing informational interviews. I have a video on how to do one. I'll link it in the description. And I also have a free download for all of you. It's a one sheet printout that you can bring with you to these uh, informational interviews. And it lists lots of questions for you to ask to see if this could be a good career choice for you. You have got this, okay? So make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video. See ya everyone, Wi-Fi high five. <laughs>